I've been thinking about your smile I've been thinking that I can't let you go Hey, can you hear a little while? Why we're holding back, I don't know Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I have a get ready with me video. So I'm going to be showing you guys this fall wig my press on nails that are kind of fall colors and a little bit of makeup. I'm not going to do my full face, but I feel like this is like a subtle fall look. So that's what I'm going to be doing with you guys. And I'm, it's going to be very chatty. So I'm going to be talking about different topics, you know, currently my influencer journey, some growth on Instagram and some other stuff, just random stuff. So if you are interested in, you know, seeing how I got this look together, then keep on watching. Hey y'all, so I told you guys from the intro, I'm sure I did an intro, that I'm doing a get ready with me video. I did one at the end of September, I believe, and it seemed like you guys enjoyed that. Um, in that video, I was getting ready for my brother's 30th birthday celebration. Um, today, I'm just filming, okay? So I wanted to feature a fall colored wig in this video. Um, I'm gonna do my nails as well. They're kind of fall vibes as well. Um, I got these press on nails from Etsy. Um, if you've been following me for at least like three years, I, ha I did used to do like press on nail content on here. Then I went back to acrylics. And then this year for the most part, probably since about, since maybe spring, I went back to press on nails and I'm not going back to the salons because the way I don't have to be committed to one set of nails for like a month or three weeks and I can just change them up and they can be relatively affordable but if you go with the custom ones the handmade paint the hand painted ones and stuff like that you can wear them multiple times so I feel like press on nails all around are just just better so um, I'm gonna show you my press on nails um, but first I think I need to apply my wig so we are circling back to a wig that I reviewed back in uh, 2020. This is Zelina, Sensational Zelina. The girls on TikTok love Zelina. When I review her, I review her in like a blonde color, and I thought she was okay. But I wanted to, um, I wanted to try some more fall colors because I do have a fall winter uh, wig recommendations video going up probably sometime this month, and I wanted to um, try out some more fall colors. So I'm going to be trying out. This wig, and I think this is in Flamboyage Auburn. I'm gonna put my black wig cap on, and I think I wanna wear it as a side part. Even though I love me a middle part, I feel like back in like 2016 and stuff, I used to be a side part girl, but then now I'm a middle part girl, but I'm gonna do a side part today because I feel like I do middle parts too much. <laughs> I did tweeze the hairline on this, and I'll probably insert some, some footage of what that you know, look like before. It's still kind of like square a little bit to me, but I feel like once I, no, it looks good. Once I um use my hot comb on it, it's gonna look so good. It's gonna look so good. Like this is giving what you pull up to Thanksgiving with, like this wig here. Um, I'm actually gonna try a sew in for the first time this year. So this is gonna be a very chatty get ready with me. I'm just gonna be talking about random stuff. Yeah, so I'm getting my, I'm gonna try lash extensions for the first time this year, next week actually. And I was kind of scared to do it and I'm still kind of like iffy, but I just wanna try and see what the hype is about. And I found this really good lash tech on Style Seat. So I hope I like them. They seem very high maintenance as far as like you have to clean them and stuff every single day, which is fine because you gotta protect your eyes, but they do seem high maintenance. If you have lash extensions and you had a good experience, or if you tried lash extensions in general, tell me your experience in the comments, please. I would like to know how you feel about it. I feel like this cap is small. And I probably said that in my review from 2020 as well. So some of my itches might be out. Also, this is so crazy. I have grown insanely on Instagram. And I was like, Instagram? 
it's so hard to grow on there. I just gave up, but I have been posting reels consistently uh, for the last like month, month and a half. And I got some, some reels that blew up like these Amazon, this Amazon outfit on a size 16 video with camo pants and a tank top went viral. It's my most watched video on my, on my entire Instagram. And I've had my Instagram for like, like 10 years now. Yeah, that went viral. So people like my fashion content. So I'm going to be doing a lot more fashion, not just my wigs. And then I did, I have a series on my Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me at I Fancy Cupcakes. The series is called Let's Revisit. So I revisit wigs I've already reviewed on my channel to see how I like them. Like, you know, three months later, six months later, a year later, uh, three years later, I've had one that was three years old to see how I feel about it and people enjoy it. So I had my, which wig was that? Outre Kamalia, when I revisited that, it went viral. So I went from October 11th, I hit 60,000 followers on Instagram. And then today, which is November 2nd, let me see, am I at 80 today? No, I'm still at, am I still there? No, I'm at 80K today, 80K on Instagram. So I, so I got 20,000 new followers within a month. That's never happened to me ever, ever on um, on Instagram. I was like, people still growing on Instagram? So I was like, okay. It's so weird how like, I, I just do the work. I always just work. Cause I'm, I'm not the kind of influencer that goes viral all the time. It just happens to be that I'm trying out a lot of different content and not just hair and my stuff blew up and it was crazy. It's crazy. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I told you guys, especially if you watch my vlogs, I'm changing my YouTube name and I'm probably going to do it probably the first week of January because I just feel like, um, next year will be 10 years on YouTube. And I feel like the kind of content I make is different now. Like I'm different. So I want to Go ahead and change my name. It's not going to be like too far off from what it already is, but yeah. This cat is small. I'm going to have some of my edges out. We're going to get her together because this is going to look crazy at first. You're going to have to tweeze his hairline. I think so. Anyway, I'm going to be using the Eben adhesive spray and the red can here. I love the black can more, but this is what I had available at my beauty supply store and we're gonna glue this ma'am down so I'm gonna blow dry this on cool that's already dry okay okay so I'm gonna try to glue this whole hairline down Especially because this is the part that's going to be showing. So I'm going to try to glue this all the way down. We're going to get this hairline together. I might have to tweeze it up just a little bit more. But I think I did a good job already. So let's get this. But it's so funny. Um, I was grown. One of my goals this year, I think it was to hit 10K on TikTok. And I did that in like probably May or something like that. But, um, everybody's talking about how you can grow real fast on TikTok, but now I'm growing more on Instagram than I am on TikTok, which is weird. It's weird. But, um, I was watching one of Maddie's videos, Maddie James. She's an amazing, um, influencer, influencer coach. Um, she's one of the reasons why I started making a lot more money because I took one of her courses, um, fall of 2020, fall of 2020 into winter 2021 she was just like go on the platforms that celebrate you and the ones that typically celebrate me it seems is instagram and youtube now i still post on tiktok but you know i'm just starting to see they kind of they niche you way too much on there like if it's not wig content they probably won't even like push my stuff out i still create it but still I feel like I want to 
tweeze a little bit more at the front, but it's a really good density. I just want to thin it out just like a little bit more. I'm gonna take my black bottle of Got To Be Glued gel and just smooth it over the front of my lace here with my rat tail comb. I'm gonna put on my melt band to melt this wig while I do my makeup and stuff like that. All these supplies that I'm using to get this wig together will be in my description box and on my Amazon storefront in the wig and hair supplies section on there. I wish I need to check and see if they have this cheetah print one on Amazon. Okay. Okay, so I think now I'm going to move on to my nails. So let me get this set up for you guys because I'm going to be doing this on my phone. My phone is so clutch now that like short form content is, you know, so popular. I don't think I've ever used my phone this much for, well, of course for pictures when pictures were important, but um, I'm so glad that I got a phone with a lot of storage because that's what I do. I just film a lot of um, video all the time on my phone. Oh, I think that's, this is cool. So I'm going to show you guys like, this is kind of behind the scenes. This is how I'm setting it up to show you how I do my nails or just, you know, me putting on press on nails this week. So I have this thing that's called an all-in-one content creator tool. Um, that is how I film all of my TikToks and Instagram reels where I'm showing my face or doing my makeup hands-free. I got this last year, but I never told you guys about it, but that's what I've been using. And it's really helpful. Um, and it's also really good because you can swivel the neck so you can do like, overhead content, which is really good, especially if you're doing your nails, you're doing some cooking. I think this will work for cooking. Um, if you're doing some planner content, drawing or something like that, this is a really good tool. So I paid like $60 for it on this, on this website called Hey Paparazzo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but they also sell it on Amazon. So I'll have that link down below if you need something to help you create content hands-free. Of course, you can use a tripod, um, but a lot of tripods don't have a bent neck like this. And when I was creating planner content, which I might go back to in January, I needed something overhead so it would look better. So that's what I use on here. And I'm using my iPhone 13. I use, you can just use your iPhone when you're recording in general because it gives great quality. Um, I recorded a makeup tutorial all on my cell phone recently and it turned out really good. So I am going to turn it this way so I get that horizontal look. And now I can get into my nail content. Okay, so I have already prepped my nails off camera. And if you don't know what prepping is, you have to prep your nails before you actually apply your press on nail so they'll stay a little bit longer. I only keep my nails on for a week, so but prepping is still important. So what I did was I filed my nails and I dehydrated them. I dehydrated mine with acetone, but you can do alcohol as well. And I just filed the surface and everything like that. So I'm considering, I think I'm gonna wear these today. Uh, Midnight Grove Co. on Etsy. I'll have it linked down below. I think I'm gonna wear these brown, one he brown ones here. Well, they're not just brown, but they look like they're fall nails. And I think that will be appropriate for today. And if you're wondering, that's how you spell my name, okay? It's no A in my name. Some people throw it in there. There's no A in my name. It's just spelled like that, okay? So I'm gonna take these out. When you're getting, you know, custom nails, they're not, they're gonna take a while to get to you. So keep that in mind. I think I waited probably two weeks for mine, which is pretty good. Cause some nail, some um, personal nail companies take a very long time to get their nails. So I've already ordered some Christmas nails um, from an Etsy seller and it's gonna be here like on the 17th. So if you're wanting handmade, you know, press on nails for the holidays, you probably should go ahead and order them right now so you can wear them in time. Sticky tabs on the inside of my nails and glue because I feel like they work very well uh, with the Empress nails and the Empress nails that you get from the store, 
they work very well. And I actually got the opportunity to work with them on TikTok recently, which is really cool. Um, but I was using their nails before that. So let's see if I can find some small ones to put for the pinkies. Okay, so I just take that off. And I do have my tweezers here, just in case I need a little help. So I'm gonna put the sticky tabs in there like that. I hope I'm in frame, there we go. And I'm gonna take that backing off with some tweezers. Set that to the side. And this is the glue I'm using. I usually use, I'll show you the glue I use. This is the glue I usually use right here. It's from Kiss. Let me see if it's old because some of this glue gets like sticky and old. I can use that for this video. I'll use that instead. But this one's from the Nailist Co. That's like a um, nail company that Jackiana loves. I'm gonna put some glue on there. And then I'm gonna put some glue on top of the sticky part. Hopefully this is nice. Gonna hold for like 30 seconds. Looks cute so far. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Okay, and so I'm gonna use this cuticle oil that I got from, oh, I'm gonna use this cuticle oil that I got from Amazon here. some fall, some abstract fall nails. Okay, so the nails are done. Hope you guys enjoyed that part. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm gonna speed through makeup because I just did a makeup tutorial on my channel. And I'm gonna do basically the same everything, pretty much. I might change the lip up yeah, so I'm getting ready to film like two other videos. I'm going to do an Ulta and Bath and Body Works haul. And I think I'm going to do like my October favorites as well to share with you guys. And it's going to be like a collective favorites of like fashion, home, and um, some beauty in there as well. So as I'm filming this video, it's November 2nd. And I'm going to be going Christmas decor shopping again. Like today, I gotta pull out my stuff and see what I have already. But last year, I didn't decorate the kitchen at all. And this year, I'm gonna be decorating the kitchen. Um, and we're gonna have a Christmas party at our house. So I'm gonna be probably, you know, shopping more for, you know, Christmas decor. Um, I'm keeping my office pink, the uh, pink thing for Christmas. And I think downstairs, I'm gonna be doing heavy on the emerald and pops of red in there. So it's gonna be classic, but you know, leaning more towards um, emerald. I'm super excited about decorating for Christmas, but 
I was talking to my mama and we really think that fall decor is superior to Christmas decor. I just think it looks so much better, but you know, Christmas has beautiful stuff too. But fall, this was my first year decorating for fall and it was just so pretty. Fall has such pretty stuff. And I might, next year I might decorate earlier for fall. Um, yeah. And I see why people decorate for Christmas early. It's just nice to have that feeling. And I heard somebody say, um, the Christmas season is more exciting than Christmas Day. I think Christmas Day is only exciting if you have, um, if you are a kid or if you have kids or something like that. But it's the Christmas season for me, like the holiday season for me and not the actual day. So I'm gonna do my makeup probably off camera. I'm gonna pop in and out, you know, and show you guys a little bit, but I'm not gonna show you guys the full face. I've been thinking about your smile. I've been thinking that I can't let you go. Hey, can you hear a little while? Why we're holding back, I don't know. I guess I'm all confused about you, about you. You're my one temp. Okay, so if you watch my channel, especially like my makeup content, I always use the Juvia's Place bronzer palette here. This is in the one tan. And I use the top shade just to add like a wash of color to my lids. Um, yeah. I saw Face Over Matter do this and I was just like, I'm gonna do that for my everyday makeup looks from here on out. And I'm using my Real Techniques setting brush because it's kind of bigger than a typical like blending brush and you can really apply a lot of product at one time because it's just like a wash of color. So it has a little bit of interest to your lids and you're not just leaving them blank. And that's really all I do. I just kind of just blend it out. Put it on there and just blend it out. It's pretty easy. Come back again. Telling myself that it's okay. Okay, so I am trying out some new lashes today. They are the INV 3D Collection Natural Volume 3D and the Style 80. So they came in this packaging. You can get INV lashes from the beauty supply store. That's where I get some of mine, but also Walmart because that's where I got my really, my other favorite, which is, um, from the light 3d collection and it's number 75 love those i'm going to use the nars light reflecting foundation i'm a big fan of this i've mentioned this in um my current makeup favorites video oh gosh i'm very picky with foundation like i have the sephora best skin and i was liking it but then i wore it yesterday and it just it didn't look good on me I need to see who it's actually for because sometimes I'll get foundation and it's for like dry skin. Um, it'll be for like oily skin and stuff like that. And it's not intended for me because I have dry skin, but I'm going to see. It seems like it's for oily skin because it's like a thicker foundation. Okay. Because every place has got an end of pain. Okay. 
been thinking about your smile I've been thinking that I can't let you go Hey, can you wait a little while? Why we're holding back, I don't know I guess I'm all confused about you, about you You're my one temptation, yeah my Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in 332. I'm gonna put that on my lace and my parting space to wake it up. down just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put some of that on my front of my lace because I did get a little bit of contour on there and it made my lace a little bit dark. Thinking about your smile. I've 
I've been thinking that I can't let you go. And can you wait a little while? Why we're holding back, I don't know. I guess I'm all confused about you. All right, guys, so here's the final look. I did end up showing you guys the side part and the middle part. Of course, lately, I have been a middle part girl. I love me a middle part, and it looks so good on this wig. Like, it looks really, really good. Um, I guess I was sleeping on, uh, on Zelina because in 2020, I wasn't that impressed, but I think it's the color. It's more, I'm not really into blonde wigs like that. It has to be a very specific blonde but I like this color. This is definitely going to be on the fall winter wig recommendations list. I have a few more wigs I want to try in my collection before I do that video. So I need to make sure I'm like trying on a different wig every single day so I can, you know, try these out. Um, yeah, but this looks pretty and it's like a perfect length. This looks like the length I would cut my longer wigs. This is so, so nice. I think it's like 18, 18 inches on me anyway. I'm six feet tall. So um, if you want more specifics about this wig, you can watch the review from 2020 because I didn't do any cap construction and all that kind of stuff. That's in the original review. Cap size on this is smaller, but it's not like too bad. Turned out really cute. So nails are cute. I did sticky tabs and glue for some of the nails that worked well, but for some of them, it's not, um, that sturdy. I'm probably going to take these off and put on my Empress press on nails in the short length. Y'all. I adore the Empress short length nails. They look so professional. Seriously, I put my sister onto them. She loves them now. They just look so good and they stay very well with the glue plus the sticky adhesive that already comes on it. So you don't have to put sticky tabs on it like I did with these. Um, just the way they have it is it just works better than doing like separate sticky tabs like this plus glue. Yeah, they, they work better than these even though these are some of them are stuck on better than others so if you're interested in this wig or my press on nails or the lip you know some of the makeup that i used in this video i'll have it listed in the description box for you guys if you don't follow me on my other social media platforms like tiktok and instagram follow me at i fancy cupcakes i'm very active on those platforms and if you haven't subscribed over here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications because I have a lot of good content coming for you guys. I have over nine years of content on this channel. So if you are new, stick around. You can, you know, take, take a couple hours and watch, you know, some of my content from the past. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.